Time now for some sports news. Kenya's Alex Kibet has won the 2018 Okbekwe International Road Race in Edo State. Kibet posted a time of 29 minutes 46 seconds to edge out compatriots Simon Cheprat and Timothy Kiplagat. In the women's category, Ethiopian Yamidera ran a time of 33 minutes one second to emerge the winner. Kenya's duo of Sandra Chibet and Diana Chamtai finished second and third. Kibet and Dera received $20,000 each for their victories. Dominic Thiem has followed up his sensational victory over world number one Rafa Nadal by easing past Kevin Anderson 6-4-6-2 to reach the Madrid Open final. The Austrian who ended Nadal's 21 match and 50 set winning streak on clay needed just 85 minutes to dispose of his South African opponent. The 24-year-old broke Anderson in the nine-minute opening game, which was enough to secure the first set in 49 minutes. A double fault then gave Thiem the decisive break to open the second set, and he broke again before securing victory with a service winner. In football, Hamburg's record of being the only ever present team in the German Bundesliga top flight has come to a cruel end after 55 years. Despite winning their final game of the season 2-1, Hamburg was sent down by Wolfsburg's 4-1 home win over Cologne. The club's Bundesliga farewell match was however marred by crowd trouble late on as it became clear that they were heading for the drop. Dozens of riot police, including several on horses, charged onto the pitch and lined up in front of the Hamburg fans. The Argentine government has signed an accord with Russia aimed at preventing the country's more than 3,000 hooligans who are expected to travel to this year's FIFA World Cup from attending matches. The deal includes the names of fans banned from Argentine football stadiums. The information will be shared with airlines and Russian immigration authorities. The two-time world champions will face the Super Eagles of Nigeria in a Group D clash in St. Petersburg on June the 26th. Lewis Hamilton has smashed the course record to take pole position in the Spanish Grand Prix and returned to the front of the grid for the first time since the season opening race in Australia. The world champion lapped in 1 minute 16.173 seconds just ahead of his Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas. The Ferrari duo of Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen will occupy the second row. Red Bull's Max Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo secured the third row. Fernando Alonso put a McLaren in the top 10 for the first time this season, eighth behind Kevin Magnussen of Haas. And that's Sports News. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. The News at 10 continues shortly. At least 26 people have been killed in northwest Burundi after bandits targeted a village. This comes as tensions rise ahead of a controversial referendum. Officials say the armed men crossed the border from DR Congo to carry out the attack in Chibitoke province. They reportedly went house to house with guns and knives burning homes. Reports say the attack may have been an attempt to disrupt next week's referendum, which could extend the president's stay in power until 2034. President Pierre Nkurunziza has ruled Burundi since the civil war ended in 2005. His attempt to run for a third term in 2015 plunged a tiny Central African nation into a fresh crisis. The World Health Organization, WHO, says it plans to deploy an experimental Ebola vaccine to the Democratic Republic of Congo to tackle an outbreak in the remote area of the country and to prevent it from spreading, especially to the capital. The Al Congo reported the outbreak on Tuesday with 32 suspected or confirmed cases of the disease since April the 4th, including 18 deaths. A new suspected case was reported on Friday. The WHO is moving quickly, having been criticized for being too slow in the 2014-2016 outbreak that killed more than 11,000 people in Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia.
And North Korea says it will begin dismantling nuclear sites in less than two weeks in a ceremony attended by foreign journalists. The state's news agency, KCNA, reports that the government is taking a technical measure to carry out the process between May the 23rd and the 25th. However, scientists previously said the site may have partially collapsed in September. The move is due to take place three weeks before U.S. President Donald Trump meets North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. And the main news again. Delegates of the All Progressive Congress today participated in the election of the party's flag bearer in the July governorship poll. Also today, Governor El Rafai applauded the use of the electronic voting system in Kaduna local government election. The governor said the exercise was a success. And North Korea today announced plans to dismantle nuclear sites later this month ahead of the historic meeting between the country's leader, Kim Jong-un, and U.S. President Donald Trump. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinwami.